This hobby has the potential to take over your life. Please beware. I'm a complete mess. I haven't showered in a couple days and I'm on a mission to move as many tanks as possible. This is my second fish room and uh, it was about halfway set up because I thought I was gonna have all the tanks in the house, but I decided to pull the trigger and start up the store. Anyways, uh, I've moved probably 20 tanks out of here. I still have this acrylic 150, which for some reason I built the stand into the wall. Terrible idea. I got some tanks left here and I have this 90 acrylic. Um, this is my snail factory. I have a snail trap right there. It's a Tupperware with some greens with a fork through it. As you can see, it's working. But anyways, um, I'm, today's video isn't going to be about me. Here, one sec. <clears throat> I'm a complete mess and I just don't feel like doing a video today, guys. I need to go shower. Today's video is actually from another channel. It's a buddy of mine, Aquariums with Ties, his channel name. And I called him up and I said, hey, Tyler, what do you think of Africans in a 55 gallon tank? <sighs> Is it a good setup? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? This uh, I'm commonly asked this question, and to be completely honest, I don't know a lot about Africans, and that's why I reach out to other channels. Anyways, let them know what you think of his channel. If you like it, make sure to subscribe, according to Ty. Take it away, Tyler. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Chris? Thanks for having me on your channel. Uh, to answer your question, do I think you can keep uh, African cichlids in a 55-gallon tank? I'm going to say yes on this one. I'm going to say some of the smaller species like embunas or shell dwellers, things like that. Uh, maybe not the more aggressive embunas, but I would, I would say you could keep them in a 55. But I would be ready to make some changes. Um, if your plan is to set up a 55 gallon of African cichlids and stuff it full of fish to diffuse aggression, then I don't think that's going to work because uh, 55 gallons is not a ton of water to work with. So you're going to be doing water changes constantly just to keep uh, the nitrates low. Or say you're going to set up like uh, a yellow lab tank and have like one male to like three or four females. I think that would work very easily. Like for example, I got uh, firemouth cichlids in here, and this is a 55 gallon, but I know they're not African cichlids, but they are cichlids, so just hear me out on this. The Like firemouth cichlids, they pair off, right? They're going to claim a territory in this tank, and it's probably going to be like two or three feet long, and that's going to take up almost the whole tank. Now you have to be ready to provide that amount of space for your African cichlid that has claimed a territory. So, do I think 55 gallons could work? Yes, but would I probably do it? No. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Let me know what you think in the comments. I actually made a post in a Facebook group, one of the biggest African cichlid groups, and a lot of people said that they are effectively keeping 55 gallon tanks, and they're like, hey, I will literally send you a video. God, those fish are insane. They're like, I'll literally send you a video of my 55 gallon tank, and uh, I was like, hey man, let's. I'm gonna make a video about this because it's kind of a cool topic, so Let's, uh, maybe you can just enjoy some of this footage of these cool African 55 gallon tank setups. <sighs> I'm gonna go shower guys now. I'm seriously, I'm a grub. Um, we all have these days. I know that I, I should maybe be, uh, look better on camera, but I really just don't care. It's real life and I'm not, I'm not gonna edit myself. I don't wear makeup. This is real life. I'm have, it's a Monday. Have you ever felt are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
All right, quickly, one more thing, guys, before we end this video, and I know some of you guys haven't even watched this far, but I am looking for new ideas to do videos on. I have probably a million uh, ideas, but they're all species spotlights, and I've done like a billion, gajillion species spotlights, and uh, if you have any ideas for like some cool DIY stuff or just ways that I can make this channel cooler, please let me know. So I promise I'm going to go shower now and I might be going, I might do a live stream tonight. I'm feeling pretty, uh, I don't know, I feel like even though it's a Monday, I just feel like I got to kick myself in the rear end and get going because it's just Mondays. I, I try not to let the weather, what day of the week it is, affect me, but it's just like, it's part of mother nature to have that happen, I feel like, and it's just inevitable. So Without further ado, send me your questions. By the way, I'm setting up a new website. It's going to be palmeraquatics.com. And if you're looking to go any at any time, you want to go to the YouTube channel, I set up uh, a subdomain on it. It's youtube.palmeraquatics.com. I know I've been rambling here, but I just figured, uh, yeah, I'm going to go shower. Look at, look at that grease. Look at that grease.